Hello, my fellow investors, and welcome back to that time of the month again. No, come on, not that time of the month. Get your minds out of the gutter. It is not the FOMC. It is actually the time for dividends, and not just any dividend month, guys. It is September, and I already took a look at the numbers. We just hit a massive milestone. The portfolio has hit a huge massive bigly milestone when it comes to dividends and i'm actually really excited because this is the first time this has ever ever happened and i'm so glad that all of you guys are watching this have um are, are coming along with this because this is man what i'm about to show you all it's gonna be tremendous it's gonna be great so because it is the end of september we're going to cover the buys and the sells that i did for this month the options that i did for this month which i did do one and of course the dividend i can't wait to share with everybody that but before we get started make sure to like subscribe comment it really does help with the algorithm on youtube as well so make sure to follow us next fill investing and of course if you'd like to join us on the discord the link is in the description below so with the said guys let's get started with this video so starting off guys with the buys and the sells is actually really really easy because i only did one buy this month and you guys can see that it was none other than t row i did this on 9 6 so if you guys saw my update halfway through the month for uh september 15th you guys already saw this but i did buy some t row on september 6 for 20 shares at the price of 102 dollars and that was about 2039 dollars now the reason why i did this is because i have officially have the 100 shares of T row price, which officially makes it so that I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven companies above 100 shares. And this T row price, guys, actually pays me a lot. I will show everybody how much they actually pay me every single quarter once we get to the dividend section. But just letting you know that this was the only buy that I did for this month. Now, moving on to now the options. For all of those of you keen eye, you probably already saw this, that I did do a sell when it comes to Broadcom. And, well, you guys know I did forget to sell the call on Broadcom on their earnings, but I did it instead for the FOMC when the Fed announced their 50 basis point cut. So I did it for them. That figured, eh, it also has a lot of volatility too. So I decided to sell this call uh, for... November 15th, and uh, the strike, $245 for a bid of $0.18, cents, so $18 per share. And the total profits would be after the after the fee, it is $17.34. So this most likely, according to Mike, is three d deviations out from what, it's, from what it is currently. Odds are it's not going to hit, right? Odds are it's not going to hit. But in the likelihood that it does hit, I have two options. Either I can just let it expire in the money and my set, my shares get taken away from me, which I'm perfectly fine with because that would be at around like what? twenty Close to $20,000 profit, if I'm not mistaken, uh, or $18,000 profit. Yeah, there you go. Something along those lines. And if I don't want my shares to be taken away, then I just roll it. And I will most likely ask Mike to know how to do that because I'm not too good at rolling options. I know how to do it. I just don't necessarily know for what price and when to roll it to for what specific time frame but just letting you know that this was the only option that i did for this month and unfortunately by the looks of it i'm gonna be ending the year in the negative so you guys remember i man february was awful for me lost 526 dollars and guys i just could never recover it i just i just couldn't recover it it was really really bad you know there were two months here in a row that i didn't do anything and then for the month of august i didn't do anything either so i don't know with the whole baby situation and then him being massively premature, I'm just, I'm like trying not to do anything too risky, mainly because of him. So hopefully everybody understands that. But by the looks of it, guys, yeah, the sum at the end of the year will be close to around $367.56, maybe a little bit less. Uh, if if I roll AVGO, right, if I roll AVGO or if I just sell another cover call for AVGO when that uh, expiration hits, aside from that, I think that's essentially going to be it. Unfortunately, for this year, for 2024, it will be a loss of around eh, $350 in options premiums. But now let us get into what everybody is most wanting to see. And that is the investment income, specifically the dividends, because something, guys, has just happened that completely just blew my mind i didn't even realize it until i started 
setting up for this video. Absolutely crazy. Now, what you guys are looking at here, first of all, it is 2024 year, right? The 2024 year estimated income at $6,548.34. Monthly average at $545.69. So far received, it is $4,571.08. Now, this is very, very interesting. So we can see here that for September, right? This is September. You guys are seeing that I have not received all of it yet, which is yeah, kind of sus, right? Kind of sus. You know, by the time you guys see this, it'll be September 30th, which is the last day. So basically, I should be getting all of this when you guys see this. However, the reason why I'm actually showing this video before I get all of this is because I kind of just don't want to wait for it. I kind of want to get ahead of it. But when I do all of my uh, spreadsheet stuff, it will be the total sum. What's interesting about this total sum, though, is take a look at this. For the month of September, guys, dividends, forget about the interest, by the way. Forget about the interest, right? You see interest and then dividends. I would just forget about the interest because that fluctuates based off of the amount of cash I have on my account. But if you take a look at those dividends, received so far $706.81. $706.81. Estimated remaining $316.18. I'm sorry, but ignoring all the tens and the ones there, you add the hundreds, that's a thousand dollars. Yes, the portfolio for the first time ever, it has generated a thousand dollars in one month. That is the biggest milestone to date when it comes to this portfolio. I, I I didn't even realize it. And I would have to attribute that to, I would assume t -Row, right? I would assume t -Row, since they did pay, I think I bought them before the ex-dividend date, if I'm not mistaken, which kind of for the month of September. This is massive, guys. This is huge. Because what you're about to see is pretty much all of the dividends throughout when I first started doing dividend investing back in 2020, it's only been four years. It's only been four years. And implementing the strategy of, hey, not buying things overpriced and a dividend investing strategy is leading the portfolio to generate a huge, massive, bigly amount of income in such a short amount of time. So let's cover now this whole entire thing from 2020 up until now. All right, so if you guys have seen these types of videos before, you all know exactly what I'm going to show. But for all those of you who are new and those who are maybe returning, um, here it is. I have been tracking, guys, my dividends since 2020. Did you not? I have been doing this. Every single month I have been tracking this. And at the beginning, this was the way that I managed to invest. I am a very emotional guy when it comes to investing, which is why I can't day trade for, for the life of me. Uh, so this was the best way that I could navigate my emotions when it comes to investing by focusing on this type of chart, this type of graph, as opposed to the tickers up and down, right? The, the candlesticks up and down. So I physically can't handle that. So I just decided to focus on these instead. And it has been very, very fruitful because, well, you guys can see the orange is 2024 and Every single orange that you guys see here, or at least almost every single orange, has been higher than that of the prior year. And the month that we're mainly focused on, it is, of course, September. Take a look at this. Beginning of 2020, or at least the first September, which was September of 2020, $68.04. I remember when I first got this, I was so incredibly happy. I was just like, man, $68 is so much money. The following year, guys... Consistent investing, right? Because that's what it, that's what investing is, right? Is you have to be consistent about it. $269.62. Wow. Talk about compounding. Then September of 2022, $464.13. September of 2023, $904.60. And September of 2024, Hit the milestone, hit that milestone, right? Just broke through that ceiling. $1,022.99, essentially $1,023. Guys, this is absolutely awesome. September and March, for some reason, are the best months, are the best months out of the March, June, September, and December months. So, yeah, this is massive. This is absolutely massive and it's such a big milestone for the portfolio. And, well, it just it goes to show 
right? Consistency is what matters here. Investing is exactly like working out, right? The first time you go to the gym, you will see nothing. Then the second day you go to the gym, you will see nothing. After a month, you will probably not see anything either. After several years of consistently going to the gym is when you're about to see some muscle growth. It's the same thing with everything in life. It's just consistency. How do you get closer to God? How do you get closer to Jesus Christ through sanctification? By very easy steps. You know, first, obviously accept them. That's the first thing. And then the second is through sanctification, a lifelong thing. Pray every day, go to church, read your Bible, that kind of stuff. Doesn't save you, but what it does is it gets you closer. And that's the exact same thing when it comes to investing. And that's what I've learned in my 28 years of life is that if you want, if you expect quick things, never going to happen. Never going to happen. Slow and steady it is by far the most guaranteed. And this right here is proof of that exactly. Now, if we take a look at the quarterly dividend, seeing that this is the end of the quarter, that is a massive spike. That is an absolute massive spike for the quarter. The portfolio generated $1,751.89. And so far for that year, we can see that in 2024, we're at $4,873.47. Last year, it was $5,400.22. So we are essentially there by the end of this last quarter, Q4 this will be $6,500, which is again, really, really interesting and really, really exciting as well. Now, before we end the video, let's take a look at the next 12 months because this actually does change a lot because, well, the shares that I bought recently when it comes to T row, which by the way, I should show everybody how much they are paying me every single quarter. And for reference guys, here it is T row every single quarter. They're paying me $149 and 66 cents. There you guys have it right there. So this is with 120.6946 shares. Um, yeah. Average share price, guys, $104.28. Wow. Current total returns $13,217. And again, quarterly dividends of $149.66. A yield on cost of 4.76%. So with that, obviously, because I bought these shares in for September, I didn't get that dividend in March, June, right? So looking into the next 12 months, this assumes that if I change nothing in my portfolio, next 12 months, my dividend portfolio should generate, assuming that I don't change anything, should generate $6,665.77 with an average monthly of $555.48. And if you all remember at the beginning of this year, I set up goals for myself in 2024. And one of those goals it is to reach $625 per month in average dividends. Now, I don't know if I'll get to that, right? I am, um, what is that? $75 away from hitting that. However, we shall see, right? We shall see because it really just depends as to essentially what the market does, right? I'm not going to invest into something that is massively overpriced, right? I'm just, I'm just, I'm not going to do it. So if the market tends to do a downturn, especially with the election that's currently about to happen in, uh, in just uh, what, like a month and a week. So depending on what it does, then I will buy. And if it continues to go up, then I'm not going to do anything. Again, it really just depends on to the, what the market does and to what I find it to be decently valued or not. But then again, guys, that is just me. And this was the dividends for the month of September of 2024. Reached a new milestone. Absolutely insane. Tell me what you guys think about it. And tell me where you guys are in your dividend journey if you are doing one. Because right here, this is a massive, massive win. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment. Really does help with the algorithm on YouTube as well. So make sure to follow us on XFL Investing. If you like to join us on the Discord, link is in the description below. So with that said, peace out, and we'll see you all next time.